Hey everybody, if you have a Keurig Mini and you go to plug it in, you have a GFCI outlet here and it trips your GFCI outlet. Quick and easy thing that you want to look at before you think you need to throw your Keurig away. Make sure your reservoir is empty. Make sure you don't have a cake up in there. <clears throat> Pull out your bottom tray. Lay your Keurig on the side. There's three clips, one here, one here, one here. Get you a very small screwdriver. Call these tweaker screwdrivers. And you're gonna wedge that in there. Pop it, pop it up, pop it up. You do the same on the other side. As you can see, I already have. Once you pop it, pop it, pop it up. You stand your curry up, and with a little bit of force, quite a bit of force, you're gonna pull that back. Pull this side back, and if you do it simultaneously, then you'll remove the cover. Just like so. Now, <clears throat> unlike some of the other models, that offer a reset for the heater. This model does not offer any way to manually reset. I do like the design they have on here. It's a little easier to get to some components, the heater and whatnot. It's a, some of the, the thermal coupler, there's a heater behind here. We got flow switch, circuit board, power supply. Everything's pretty easy to get to. Um, in comparison to some of the other models that they had. I will say that they did a great job Making this one user-friendly as far as removing the panel. Some of the other ones are really a pain in the butt To remove this one not so much. You actually don't have to take off any screws or anything like that. It's just these Few clips right there you pop them off But the root cause on why These most likely trip is if you overflow the reservoir water will work its way down it'll drip down here you'll get on those tubes and it'll make some of these electrical connections wet which is why your gfci is tripping because you're actually shorting out the network or shorting out the circuitry and that gfci is saving you from burning up your unit so all you have to do is remove the cover like this let everything dry out really well you could use a blow dryer or you could just let it air dry but once you get everything dried up really well, then you can go ahead and test it. You just plug it in, lock the cover uncovered, and then open your lid. You see the power light comes on. We're back in business. So and then you unplug it again, and then you can go ahead and put your cover back on. So this is a quick and easy fix for a Keurig Mini if it's tripping or if you don't have any power at all. So. Something to take a look at, quick and easy fix. Start to finish, you can easily do this repair in under 10 minutes. So even for a novice. Thank you, have a great day.